Hey, what's up? I'm Scott Ian, and you're watching Jackson Live. We're here for the last show of the Worship Music Tour, our 207th show. I guess I'm just gonna show you the guitars that have been with me pretty much from these 207 shows. This one has been there all 207 shows. This was the Guitar Center uh, exclusive that we did, the Among the Living graphic Guitar Center exclusive mid-price model, which I've been playing every single show for two years. I generally break this one out, usually either on the song Among the Living or sometimes I Am the Law or sometimes for the encores, but um, this is the actual stock mid-price that Guitar Center sold and it sounds amazing. I didn't, I didn't even change the pickup. It's the stock weird Seymour Duncan that came with it and it sounds great. I think I started with this one on the Mayhem Tour last summer. This is one of my signature soloists in the Silver Burst, Two Hum, Floyd Rose, and it's got my son's name actually uh, on the inlay, Revel Young. The Silver Burst is kind of what I went with for you know, my signature model, and it's just something I've always loved on a guitar. Like, I just love the way Silver Burst looks. This guitar is solid maple. You can't tell by looking at it, obviously, but it weighs more than a Les Paul, and it is a beast. And when I first got it, I was playing it for a whole show. I would like maybe switch it out once to tune it, but it just felt so good. But after about two months of doing that, it beat the shit out of my shoulder. It's so heavy. So I started using this one for maybe three songs, four songs tops in the set, because it really is a beast, but it sounds great. I trade off the pain for the, for the sound. Ah, next, we have a brand new guitar. This is a relic of my Thraxagram, because I've got a black one like this with the same Thraxagram flag. And the idea for this came from Evil Knievel's helmet. Because I was looking at a picture of Evil Knievel one day, and uh, his helmet was like this silver, but it was all beat to shit, and he has got the, you know, the red, white, and blue, and I said, wow, that would make a cool looking guitar, like Evil Knievel's helmet. It's either the Thraxagram Relic or Evil Knievel guitar, either one. Out of the box, perfect. This one is new-ish, this Silver Burst King V. I just really wanted to have a V in my arsenal. Figured, what the hell, like, let's do the burst on it. Like, kind of keep it, keep it in with my signature models. And uh, this is my best sounding guitar. I haven't, I haven't played the new, new one. I haven't played the Evil Knievel through my rig yet. I only played it at home. So I haven't heard it through the rig. So maybe that one will be better. But in the last like two, three years, this is the best sounding guitar I've gotten from Jackson. It sounds amazing. It's just one of those special individuals that shows up and just blows my mind. You can see it's getting a little beaten up, but you know, I kind of like it like that. It just, it shows I've been, I've been playing this thing hard. This V has become my go-to. This is my number one now. And then last but not least, of course, out with me right now is my tribute to Daryl and Ronnie. Uh, we have a song called In the End that we play in our set, and uh, it's about those guys. This was painted for me by Mike Learn and a guy named Nub. They basically approached me about doing a guitar, so we sent them a blank, and just we just sent them the blank and told them to have at it. And uh, I just think they did an amazing job. See on the back, it's... And I use this every night for that specific song. It's got the drop tuning, it's got a low C sharp, so this one's tuned differently than the rest. Yeah. Kind of a special one. 